Okay, I'll give you the uh, idea behind the Rob Goldberg washing plant. I designed it to be fed by a dozer with a 12 and a half foot blade. You see the bulkhead in the front would we where the where you would ramp up with a dozer and it's 15 feet tall and 12.6 inches wide in the front <clears throat> my hydraulics are hooked up you can see up there on the platform you got a monitor and a hydraulic valve the hydraulic valve operates the dump bed Underneath there is where the gen set would go. And here we've got a three foot wide by six foot classification screen, three deck. And then you've got four foot, two sluice boxes, four feet wide sluice box. <clears throat> 20 feet long and when you put this in place and you level the low boy this grade is two inches per foot and then I'll take you up here anything coming off the grizzly it's this thing and your four inch plus material goes to the right bear with me while I climb up here See that that rock bed has been widened out to 12.6 inches wide. Here you got the monitor to wash up here with this thing. Yeah, it's rated at 1,250 gallons per minute. And then if you look at the plumbing, the pump. Six inch pump input is down there. I'm gonna look down in there. There's only two decks of screen in there. That looks to be that is new screen, three quarter inch screen, I think. Three quarter minus. And you've got your Hydraulic control valve to tilt the bed. And that motor is a 13 horsepower. That would be to 10 kW. The gen set is 36 kW. There's plenty of power there. That's a three phase. 230, 460. So, depending on what you decide to feed it by, this was designed to be fed by a dozer ramping up to there and pushing in the front of this thing. That's why the bulkhead is there. And then you have a fellow up here doing the monitor work, or you could set it wherever. It's got locks on it. And then you got the adjustable nozzle. I got more of those nozzles. And we're looking down here. There's your four inch plus. I was gonna hit that. Going right. And then 
I got these brackets on here that I put those on there to hang that when you look over there you can see that that's uh, 24 inch maybe more uh, ATPE pipe be like uh, I don't know looks like it's inch and a half two inches thick those two pieces of I just split a piece of HDPE. And those are 20 feet long at least. Anyway, they go with it. And then the, you can see it's up on huge timbers, 24 inch timbers. And that could probably be upgraded to a steel frame. And if you look down below, there's miner's moss in it, an expanded metal, 20 feet long. That's four feet wide by 20 feet long. And the low boy is, it's rotable. It's probably not good enough for commercial use, but it can get down the road safe enough. I drove this up here. Let me go down and give you another point of view on the plumbing. Bear with me while I climb down the ladder. Use the cold. Now looking in here, so you got your a valve on your. Here's where you're going to input your pump, six-inch pump. You come up here. You got a T. You got a valve here into this tube, and that is there to move the four-inch minus across to the right side and we'll go around take a look at it on this side Here's your four inch plus tailings. Then you've got this valve, this drop here, and this valve is to adjust the water going into the HDPE that I just showed you over there. And then this fella here, you can uh, attach another valve to it or put your pump on the side one way or the other and use it as a bypass if you have too much water or whatever you need. That's pretty skookum. Then this here could did serve as the gen set covered and i have all of the electric panels and the gen set for it but it uh it's gonna be easy to remove that except for it's heavy it just lashed by lashing chain down so is the screen three deck screen we'll go around here and see the the bulkhead put in 
The bulkhead was the beaver tail from the trailer. And I think another good idea to make this more mobile, if you're moving it, would be to get a set of dollies under the front. Or you could just hang a choker under that pin and drag it around or pick it up with your ripper and drag it around. I think another way to look at this, as far as the feeding system, that thing could completely easy to easy to take off but yeah it's heavy but ideally I think a person would want a conveyor with a rock kicker on it to feed it and there's plenty of power with the gen set to move that as well well you wouldn't really need any hydraulics and then well, you'd have, you would have plenty of power left. You want lights, whatever you need right here. So, anyway, it is, uh, I would say it was untested. It is untested, but um, I uh, had plenty of experience mining. And, I don't know, I think it'll work really good. There might be some fine tuning to do, but all of the components you need are there. Anyway, there it is. The Rob Goldberg washing plant. For sale.